If radical homosexuals were not imposing themselves upon radical society, radical homosexuals, what is that? Upon Christians, would Christians be fighting back in such a big way? It's not like the Christians are looking for them. The radical homosexuals are going after the Christians and trying to change the church, and, you know, bring their secular ideas into the church, into families. And so you have Christians by asking back. Christians to do what Jesus so, asked of them, which was to you know, love thy brethren, to regardless to, to that. regardless point. to Hold on. what their question. Per, question. Yeah, continue. And so, if radical homosexuals were not imposing on Christians, would there be this big battle going on? Lauren, first and then you. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> you know it, it's fair to say that. Hey, what if what if some of this is self defense? We feel like we're being attacked, and so we need to. And yeah, I'm not against uh, Christian activism in any way, but I think it's important that we don't we don't let ourselves become wrapped up in like political debates as Christians to the point where we overlook the the larger, broader message of the gospel. So you agree then that the radical homosexuals are imposing on families, Christian families, they want to change the order of the family, want what, to which, impose which, 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 them to be accepting of their, the their, school their gay sons and daughters. Like that. That's a, and that's so you don't see gluttony what an encroachment upon, <laughs> upon your life. Well, let's, anyone, let's, right? let's be more, let's, let's, let's be more specific, specific here. Like, what, what policies specifically are you talking about? Because any, any regulations where, um, you know, they would be able to, like, go into a Christian school and say, you must do that. I, I, I oppose that. I am very strongly for freedom of religion. And if, if freedom of religion is being attacked, of course, as Christians, we should, should speak out about it. I, I think in some ways it is. Uh, but, like, again, that can't get in the way of our larger, um, I guess, our, large, our larger mission of proselytizing. So should I feel attacked if I'm going to the subway and there's, you know, Christians espousing their gospel on megaphones? Like, should I feel attacked no. by, the, by their actions? No. So just because simply they have speaking up. And, and, exactly. So, but, but on the flip, you're going to say that radical homosexuals are attacking straight people they are. because we're speaking up for ourselves. No, you're trying to impose it. You're no, not. No, it's not important. For example, homosexual There's a difference, marriage, between, there's a difference between stepping up and saying, hey, I'm a homosexual and I'm worthy of love. But no one cares. Obviously you do because no, we're still having this conversation. But if you didn't impose it on no, the Christians, okay. they would go about their lives. That's you would absolutely go about not true. Homosexual That's marriage, absolutely not true. Example, you you would impose that up on the course. You try to force Christians to accept that. Rather just than in the same way that black people forced thing, themselves upon married, white people no because cares. they spoke up about so having rights in this country. So what? Repeat that. What I said was, so is that the same as stating that black people were imposing upon white people what when, we, black have to do when we set up when we set up for our rights? What does that have? That has, in that's this not the same conversation. It is, ac it is actually the no, exact same conversation. Homosexuality is not about civil rights. It's not about love. It's not about what, family. What, it's define about civil rights. Sex. Define civil rights. It's, about it's not sex. about sex. That's where you're mistaken. No, I'm and not. You can never speak on it because you're not a homosexual man. It's about sex. You can never speak well, on it I because mean, you're not a homosexual the, man. The, and this is my Can you accept that, that? Hold on. The thing that made a lesbian a lesbian is that a female has sex with another lesbian well, female. Well, sexual what preferences are about sexual preference. Homosexual. But because if I can if the, I can interject my small government sex, viewpoint in this, um, the sex? reason why I understand the the whole gay marriage debate is that uh, I I don't believe again the government should be involved in marriage at all. But because it is, there are a lot of other things that relate to the marriage contract, as it were, um, that come outside is. that come outside of like love is love, whatever. Like marriage contracts are about government recognition of, of a relationship. And that can affect your inheritance, that can affect uh, hospital times, that you're allowed to visit each it's other, that can affect, yes, it, it no, can affect. You can, write a per you can write a contract to say, when I die, I want Lou er Ella to get all my stuff. Yeah, if you're someone when who I'm actually has a will, and if I you actually have a will, care, but, it, but it's not automatic, hospital, right? That's why marriage exists uh, from, from the government, when right? When I'm in the hospital, I need Same hospital Same with like health care. If you want to but bring someone on your health care. they don't care. need a law for that. They can write a contract. And can you, you uh, give me your or, definition or, of a civil right? Or what, what but it, let me, I want to go quickly back to this yeah. trouble. I mean, this question. Do you agree with me that what makes a man or a woman a lesbian or a homosexual is that well, they have sex with the same sex. Sexual yeah. preferences are about sexual preferences. Right. Yeah, I think and we would all agree on love, that. it's not about love, it's not about family, and it's not about civil rights. Do you agree with that? Uh, well, I mean, no. Because the, the Greeks actually have several different types of, of love, one of them being specific to uh, like romantic love, eros. And that is something that would, like, yeah, so the, the gay relationships are based around that type of... They teach this in liberal schools. And where are the Greeks now? The Greeks? Who did you say? 
the, the, the Greeks in general. Just, just the different different types of love. Where are so, they now? They're yes, still because they embraced country. homosexuality, their civilization went to hell. Yeah. I rest my Got case. <laughs> yeah. I rest my so, case. So you guess what? So well. then America is on so a decline to going straight to hell then, right? So what? Based on your, so then America is on its way straight to hell then. Not well, now. no, but I, I'm trying what to explain why the whole gay marriage have debate, debate if, if, have taken if over. government is not? going to be in marriage, You can't turn on the TV without seeing one. Repeat that. I'm saying, well, that based on what you're saying, then uh, America is basically going straight to hell because you can't turn on the TV without seeing, you know, the influence of gay people. But well, that's starting to so change. So if the if if America has that's embraced homosexuality, now. if they could fight in our military, uh, which they didn't destroy, like liberal, I'm sorry, as conservatives said that it would, uh, gays who have gotten married uh, hasn't destroyed and corrupted the family. It's actually improved and made families much better. And you should thank us, uh, straight people, for adopting the children that you guys give up. No, that's not uh, a good idea. No, it's a great idea, because no, someone not. has to take uh -huh. care of them. No, someone no, has no. to show them that's love. That's a bad idea. No, it's, it's actually think, a great idea. Do you think radical a great homosexuals to be, should be able to adopt? Absolutely. Um, I think that There's the... not enough straight people to, to, take a, to, to take care of all those kids. Do so, you yeah. think they should adopt? I think that... Uh, Couple should be able to adopt if they no, if no, they hang on. I think I we're think two people should be able to. She's not the kind to, of conservative you're looking for. So. I really? think I yeah. think two people should be able to adopt if they demonstrate <laughs> the things that psychologists have no, de I didn't for ask decades. About two hang on, I know, but I'm I'm, I'm answering the question. Why don't you ask my question? Well, you're such a nice lady. Why don't you answer my question? Don't be like him. Yeah, because I, I don't Why, because do the premise of radical. Are you a Christian? Right, because the premise of radical homosexuality, like I I don't know what that means to you. He doesn't know what it means either. Right. Amazing. Right, but I, I if, Amazing. I think it's our I think it's our job as as Christians to take children in and I don't think a Catholic <laughs> I didn't church ask about should about Christians, I say a radical homosexual. Right, but I don't know what that means to you. Those that are imposing a lifestyle on Christians. Uh, Can you give any you, examples as to how like any anecdotes to how radical gays impose on straight people? Same sex marriage, um, is they, that not two people deciding for themselves? They want to teach it in the How does that impose too? on I'm, I'm anyone sitting in this room? I'm asking a question. They now, I'm actually against when it comes to schools. I don't think there should be these discussions um, for, for, for young children. I'm very much against that, I think, in a lot of ways. Why? Young children know. Young do, children know. Do they, do they know the, the... And if they had parents that actually fostered uh, acceptance and tolerance, then they would come out much sooner. It wouldn't right, have to be I, I five five years old, twice divorced schools. with five kids. Teaching to it then in be the like, schools because I don't believe I was that the it would time. be This is why she uh, against teaching in school. Yeah, I, I don't think it would be taught in a way that is, you know, fostering of merely just acceptance and openness and tolerance and love, which are Christian values that I would support for anybody. It's not, a, as Christians, it's not up to us to say you are, you are not deserving of a love, right? So that, it, you know, if that's about what it is, then I'd be fine. I, I believe that parents should take it upon themselves to teach their children that for anybody. That way, you know, regardless of the race, religion, whatever, we don't have people who are just totally awful to, you know, their, their fellow man. That's, that's important. But when it comes to specifically what we teach in school, I think that there are political ideologies that are taking over to the point that it goes beyond, like, what is just acceptance and love. And I worry that we are introducing certain concepts to kids when they are too young to understand it. Like the issue of transgenderism, for example. Um, gender dysphoria is a medically recognized, medically recognized thing that some people go through. Um, Do you believe that? What? What she just stated. Are you saying Gender that... Gender dysphoria is... Meaning that it's a mental illness that needs to be dealt with? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we could call it that, yeah. I mean, obviously... illness. Yeah, I agree with you. It is a mental illness. Right, and there... We should... So if someone's experiencing that, then obviously, like, as their brothers and sisters, families and friends, we need to be there to support them, et cetera. Meaning, um, meaning not support them in, in accepting it as a norm, but to show them how to overcome it, right? Right, Lauren? Well, I mean, I'm... When it comes to, Lord, okay, so the thing... what is wrong with you? <laughs> well, what you're gender like, dysphoria... Sir, your Christianity is... Sir, do you recognize you, you that in all of the existence of humanity, that gays have always existed, that transgender people always existed? Wait, hang on, let me, let me ask you this. There's been nothing that has ever changed that. And you can pray and wish Hold it away on. all you want to. Hold it's on, not going to change. Do you, so the do you better thing to do society man, is to accept it. Do you believe it. that the brain of a man and the brain of a woman is different? Yes. I very much believe that the brain of a man and the brain of a woman is different. Therefore, I, I'm open to the idea that because of some, like, a medical mishap, that there's mis why does it have to be a mishap? It's well, because if God makes no it, mistakes, because and every, it deviates from the norm in the same way that, that polio is a mishap, or the same way that it, it's deviating from 
deviating from the norm and the people who go through this it's it's very hard for them it's it's something that uh you know if if has driven people to medications and to surgery so i think it's fair to say and this is not a normative you're a bad person thing but it's it's not the norm right but that doesn't make it uh wrong no. it doesn't make it if it's not normal it's wrong invaluable. but do would you say autism is wrong he yes. would hmm you are okay, because but it's a, you can, it's but an you can write normal situation, right? But so it's abnormal, wrong. yeah. But wrong is a normative like form of judgment. It, it's abnormal, obviously. Are you at all open to thinking a different thought about that? Because like I work with the autism population. I do too. You shouldn't be. What? <laughs> you okay, shouldn't but, be. But back to the issue. What? Back to the issue of transgender. You just communicated via your, but your I multiple they platforms can it. that. It is not something to overcome. Learning skills, like we all need to learn skills to get a, along in this world that it's we live in. It's just another trauma that you can overcome. You can over Lauren, do you believe that all things are possible through Christ? You can overcome anything. Including La your ignorance? Lauren, can you, can you overcome, overcome anything ignorance? through Christ? I don't think you can o overcome Because I'm going to be praying uh, that God gives you some revelations That's about the, some Like Christ, Christ doesn't promise us perfect health. Christ doesn't promise us a perfect body. What Christ promises us is redemption and salvation, which I believe is possible. You but he's not, you need. He's, you not, he's not a magic genie where we can, you know, just say, hey, like a, I, I'm missing an arm. I, I need an arm because that's not, a, that's not something we're requesting through him out of our love and service to him. That's something that we're requesting for ourselves. you can all things through Christ. Uh, not yeah, but not if we're not talking about all, like all things. We're talking about autism but, but specifically. All things is, is all things. A person so, who learns to function. I, I just want to hold on one minute. I don't society, want to because I want to ask you about the great white hope. I don't think we the have the right doesn't to ask just Christ disappear. to overcome just autism. Autism, so autism isn't as, something to be overcome. So as a it's not. It's not something to be overcome. It's something that some people have, but it's it's like I mean. That's like saying, so like, can I need to yes overcome no. yes no. my As shortness a through Christ? Do you believe she's not your type of Christian, sir? She's the type of Christian I actually applaud and have respect for. Does that make you nervous to hear that? No, sh it shouldn't. I will rush back in my prayer closet. No, your what? prayer closet. Oh Lord, if this guy is your like prayer me closet is doing well, nothing what, what, what for what you, sir. What if I said that's uh, against the, the good news, for example, specifically? You was you put so much toxic stuff out there that, like, trust me, trust me. If Jesus did come back. You were not going to be going along for the ride with him. Jesus is here already. Nah. Are you, do you like, this is, so these are serious, Lauren. serious topics, and you, and you just, like, throw out these remarks for a laugh, like. Lauren, let me Yeah, ask. but, like, that, what you're, do what you you're saying sounds a lot like the prosperity things, gospel. Do you, do you believe that we can overcome all things for those who believe in Christ? Is it possible to overcome all things if you believe in God? Yeah, anything that we are capable in. Anything that we could overcome, we can overcome Lauren, through Christ. But I am you, answering the question. Jesus is not your genie. Jesus is not something you can just, you know, hey, oh, uh, I don't want the autism. your scapegoat to justify the awful things that so-called Christian, Christian people do. Person. Do you believe, for those who believe in God, you can overcome all things? Give me a yes or no. A simple yes or no so I can move on. Can you overcome for your those prejudice who believe of black in people? God, do you believe that do you can Do you pray to ask God to enlighten you things. about what it is to be black in America? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say that Christ will allow us to become, to heal autism. No, it's not something not, to be healed. About that. Yeah, I'm but that's my answer and I'm leaving it at no, that. I've answered plenty. Autism. I'm you not going to, no. As a she thinks you're God. about as ridiculous as I think. Like it's is that true? it's really sad. Like I think I, what you're saying is ridiculous in regard to autism. All I came on the show to to see for myself the, the, if like you really genuinely like believed what you espouse. If you at all cared about actually like civic dialogue and actually like so, having a real conversation. But it's very clear to me that all you care about is espousing your twisted views. <laughs> to as many people that will pay attention to you. Amazing. And it's really sad. Let me ask you about to, The fact that you get invited to important panels to discuss important topics, it's really like, it's really sad state of affairs that we find ourselves in. If I agree with you, would it still be sad? It's not about you agreeing. It's about you having a willingness to have an actual conversation and to be able to, you can't, you can't have a debate, a so-called debate, and not be willing to, to walk away thinking something that you didn't go in there thinking. If I agree with you, if you only go in there to try to prove that what your 
stance is is the right stance, then we get nowhere. But my which is why is we have the, the polarization right. that we have now. This is the right way because you it's are, the way of God. You are very exemplary of that. So let me ask, if I agree with so you, do you, do you would it make what are you sense? doing to help your your viewers get out of this rut of being stuck in belief that for better or worse, are leading to a lot of destruction in the world. I, I, I don't see that happening. Well, you're, you're not paying way attention. I see, there are people who uh, they have fear, you just they have you doubt. let out of your mouth that a young child who hangs himself in their ba in their bathroom or their bedroom cl uh, closet is doing so because they have some revelation that the life that they're living, which they're not even living yet, uh, that they're so stricken with. Uh, you know, ill feelings about themselves that it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that that child doesn't feel loved and accepted. That's period. Not true. It is very well, true. Not, you well, can't. Is, do you know you, anyone me, that's committed to let me committed respond. suicide? Yeah, for I deal with gay? them all the time. But let me tell you, you this: in what capacity me, to condemn them? No, let me tell you this, man. Be quiet. You're not doing it to Hold be on. helpful. Hold on. Hold uh, on. What it is when you're in a fallen state, you have guilt because you're separated from God, and in that guilt, you tend to judge yourself. And, and then you open up the room for Satan to come in and to, see, to, to deceive you. You know what? Your life is not worth anything. You're a homosexual or you're drunk or you're an alcoholic or you're whatever, right? And so he convinced you to take your own life because you're judging yourself in that fallen state because you're wrong. You're separated from God. Wait, can we... Uh, Do you accept that? I think we need to bring, let's bring science into this a little bit in regard to transgenderism, right? There, there have been actual studies done that look at the amount of gray versus white matter, which is one of the sex differences that manifests itself in, in our brains, um, of people who identify as transgender and people who, I guess, yeah, are, are cisgender. They've actually found that there are some differences in the brains, the, the neurology of people who are transgender. Now, what that means to me is that, you know, like, like I think we both agreed on, I have a female brain. What were to happen if there was a brain that was constructed like my own, but in the body of a male? That's, I think, what some people are attributing to transgenderism. And it, and it happens throughout multiple species. Right, and, and so what, what this means then is that in people who are transgender, they've also found things like an increased rate of suicide. I think it's about 45%. And there's also been an increased diagnoses of things like de depression and, and uh, other issues like that. Now, there have been studies done that look at, um, you know, rates of suicide pre and post op, whether that changes. They've also done studies that look at um, the kind of environments that they have, whether the trans individual um, feels like they are comfortable, secure, maybe passing and how that affects the way that they, um, you know, whether or not they, they would uh, attempt to commit because suicide. If you're more on the end of passing, you're going to be more accepted in society. Right, and so they've, they've, they've so done studies they, like I that. I believe that, and the, and the reason that that is because when you're in that father state, you're separated from the tree of life I of take, man. And so to be in sin like that, they call it sin, but the father state, it affects everything about you. Right, but it I think we, we, we both, think, we both agree you. that it was a medical yeah. illness. Do you think a medical illness a medical can illness. be... So you're, mean, you're saying that gender dysphoria is not a medical illness Christians now. have I've, tried opposing it for, for all of this time. Why don't, they try, do this. why don't they try a new tactic and try actually accepting it? No, you and should let's never see accept we, And let's see what humanity looks like then. You should never accept evil. <laughs> But do, do you, do you understand you, what don't I'm hate saying? It something. Don't so hate you it. you don't think gender dysphoria is is a medical condition? Because in my mind, something can either be a medical condition, which is diagnosable, treatable, that, and it's, that's all irrelevant when it, when you're dealing with religious zealots. Like, it doesn't matter what science says about am it. I a they zealot? just think that they're all uh, am I a zealot? liberals anyway. Are you calling me a zealot? I'm speaking for people that have no, similar ideology. Are you calling me a religious zealot? I think so.